Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. Today we're doing a yin yoga practice to improve digestion. We'll be doing a lot of twists and a lot of poses that help to massage the internal organs, which helps to improve digestion. I won't be using any props for this practice. However, it's always a good idea if you wanna have a couple close by just in case, but really we won't be using them for any of the poses. Let's begin in a wide-legged child's pose. So the big toes will be together and the knees will come apart pretty much as wide as you would like them to be as wide as is comfortable so yin yoga we are holding our poses for a few minutes and i'll try not to talk too much while we're in them so that you can just focus on your own practice so keep the knees wide walk your palms forward and set the forehead to the ground there's pressure or pinching in the lower back you might just want to bring your knees a little closer in otherwise stay exactly as you are just focusing on your breath and for the entire duration of our practice see if the breath can go all the way down into the belly so that you feel the belly and the abdomen expand on the inhale and slightly draw in on the exhale. So massaging the internal organs and the digestive system with our breath. Our last 10 breaths right here in this pose. Letting your body be really heavy. Take your time as you walk your palms back in, gently lifting the chest.
I'm going to lower all the way down onto our backs. So once you're here, keep your left leg straight and pull your right knee in. You can hold on to the back of the thigh or the front of the shin, whatever is more accessible to you. Keep firmly planting your left heel down into the mat so there's a nice extension through that left leg. Lower back is pressing down into the mat as you pull the right knee in a little bit more. Let's move from here right away into a twist. So you're just going to bring your right knee across the body over towards the left. Use your left hand to press it down and it might be better for you to extend your right arm out to the side just so that you can make sure that both shoulder blades are staying down on the mat. Remembering to take deep breaths into the belly and into the lower back wherever you feel this stretch the most. So the pose we're in right now is option one. It's a little bit more restorative. If you wanted a deeper stretch into the IT band on the outer edge of your right leg, you can always straighten that right leg flexing at the heel and if the flexibility is there you can grab a hold of your right toes with your left hand and if that doesn't work just keep your right knee bent like we were before
Coming out of this twist, nice and slow, no rush. So switching sides, let's extend the right leg straight and pull the left knee in. Keep flexing at the right ankle so you can plant the right heel down. Really reaching through that right leg drawing the shoulder blades down your back, soften your neck and your jaw. And come back to your deep and steady belly breaths, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. last few moments in this pose see if there's any room for you to create a little bit more space or maybe pull the thigh in a little closer towards the chest or re-extend the right leg Let's move it in towards a twist. 
left knee across the body over towards the right. Use your right hand to press it down slightly and reach your left arm out to the sides. So this is option one. Those of you that want to go deeper into this can straighten the left leg, maybe even holding onto the toes as you stretch it out. Let's make our way back to center. So staying on our backs, let's draw our knees, both of them, in towards the chest. And instead of having them wide, keep them pretty close in towards each other. It might be more comfortable to cross at the ankles. And you can stay still or you can invite a little gentle rocking motion, massaging the lower back.
Set your feet back down on the ground. Let's take one final twist before we finish our practice together. So just lift your hips and shift them over towards the right. And you're going to cross your right thigh over your left before letting both knees drop over to the left. Both shoulder blades are staying down on the ground.
engage your belly, uncross the legs as you lift the knees back up. Switching sides, bring your hips over to the left, cross your left leg over your right, and then drop both knees to the right. Making our way into Shavasana, our final resting pose. So resettle the hips, straighten the legs and the arms, and get yourself nice and comfortable. Feel the belly rise and fall naturally with the rhythm of your breath. As you soften the muscles around the eyes and the mouth. Letting the shoulders drop away. I invite you to stay here for a few minutes. Thank you so much for doing this practice with me. Please do subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every single Thursday. Thank you for watching. Namaste.